Hi, welcome to Robin's Roost. Today we're going to be making a fun curtain call bridge card using the zany zoo animals. Okay, I love critter cards and I have to get every critter stamp set that comes around. Um, so let's just go ahead and flip the camera and I'll show you how to make this one. So here are all the pieces that we need to make our fun um, curtain call bridge card. So I'm going to start with the base and the base is just a piece of basic white thick paper. It's four and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then it's scored at one and three eighths, two and three fourths, five and a half, and six and seven eighths. Then we have our piece that's going to be our, our backdrop for our, for our girl and it is two and a half by four and a quarter. We also have our bridge piece. Now this one needs a little extra cutting. It is one inch by five and a half and that's that's our bridge. It's going to hold kind of our card together. We need three of the um, die cut curtains, two in black, one in lemon lolly, then we need a piece of white for stamping our, our little um, leopard. We need three stars, two curtain tie backs, one um, spotlight, and this is actually a die cut that has been cut again to make it a little bit smaller, and I'll show you in a minute. And then we also need a little one inch by one and a quarter inch piece of the lemon lolly for our, our little greeting. Now for the um, for this spotlight piece, so we're going to be using two different dies, the Give It a Whirl and the uh, Zany Zoo dies, which goes with the, um, the stamp set that I'm using here. The Zany Zoo, which is our, our little dancer, comes from and our greeting. It's got lots of fun little um, characters in it. Let's, let's talk about the um, what we're going to use for the Give It a Whirl. We're actually using, um, and this is a fun spinner card, right? But we're going to use this. This is our, our spotlight, okay? And then after I um, cut it out, I, I just snipped a piece off of the bottom. And the reason I did that, it looked really nice with the whole spotlight. Let me pull in a card that I did with the whole spotlight. But she got a little bit too low on the card so that when it's, well you can't see it this way, but when it's standing, well you can kind of see that her head is almost under the sign. So I wanted to get her a little bit further down. So we cut the, um, I just cut it so that I can put it down on the bottom. It puts her further down on the card and gives me enough room to put my little stars up there. So that is that piece. And then I'm also using the stars out of here. So this is where I'm getting my stars from. Put those off to the side. And then of course we're using the, um, the Zany Zoo dies. We're going to be using the uh, curtain and, and the leopard. and the little tie backs. I'm trying to think if there were any other ones. I think that's it from in here. So you can see there's um, this one, each one of the animals has uh, an outline die and there's some balloons and some trees and flowers. It's kind of a fun set. I go in for the cute uh, critters every time. I can't resist them. So let's start by, maybe we'll color our, our leopard. I thought I would show you how I colored her. Now you might have noticed on my two cards that I pulled in here to show you. She's actually, I think, meant to be colored with just her tutu as, as a piece of material, right? And then the rest of her as her animal colors. But I thought it was kind of fun to color her with more pink. I wanted more pink in the in it so I colored her whole like this is part of her her outfit her leotard and then her her tutu so let me show you quickly 
how I colored her. So I just chose um, some browns and these are the, I always forget what they're called, natural tone neutrals, I can't remember. But they're the, they're the, anim, the nice animal ones. Um, there's a whole set of like 10 of them. And I chose the medium and then I have the light and the dark and the medium. And then I've got some flirty flamingo, light and dark. And then um, this is dark smoky slate for her nose and then some pumpkin, light pumpkin pie for her spots. And excuse me a minute, I have to take my glasses off. So I just go around with the darker color on the edges just to give her a little dimension. Then I come back in with the dark color. And then I really like the spots darker, so I just go back and give them another coat of um, the dark flirty flamingo. So then once I have that all done, I go ahead and cut her out. And I've added a little bit of Wink of Stella on her toes and on her flower, and then added um, a rhinestone, just for a little bit of bling there. So now we can start assembling since all the pieces are ready. Just go ahead and fold on our score lines. So then we can start putting it all together, right? And I'm going to pop our little um, leopard up with some dimensionals. And then since the stars are so small, I'm just going to put some dots of glue on my back and then set the, set the stars into them rather than trying to put glue on them.
Okay, and then for our um, curtain on the top, what I've done is I've made myself, if I can find them here, here we go, two little, these are one and a quarter inch um, pieces. And I just did this so that I could center my, um, my little cut. And I did this so that my, my greeting would be, you know, not, not quite so far down and I could see more of my girl. And I've taken the die. My curtain die and I just set it in there. You know, it doesn't, I'm just using these just to kind of keep it spaced because my, my, uh, measuring eye isn't that great but if you're better at eyeballing things you know you could just go ahead and put it in the center right and then I just cut this out and that gives me my, my it has more of a curtain look okay so this is what's going to make our bridge So we're just going to add glue onto the um, two edges. Then if you squish your um, paper down on the one side, so you're like folding it in and leave the other side flat out, this will allow you to, um, this is how you're going to close the card to put it in the envelope to mail and that way you'll make sure that it will fold flat if you have them glued down like that and it should go either direction now let's put our tie backs on our curtains and we'll just add a drop of glue on the curtains place our tie backs onto the glue and then we can go ahead and put our our greeting on and if you um, you know you could put the greeting somewhere else too I just kind of liked it hanging down like it was part of the um, the curtain so I'm going to use liquid glue for these so that I can wiggle them around as needed a little glue on the top of this and then some on the edges here We'll attach our curtains. And there is our little curtain call card. And to mail it, you just fold it this way. 
and it'll go into your into your regular medium envelope and there is a nice white area on the back if you wanted you could stamp you know another greeting on the back and sign your name so I hope you enjoyed this card and have some fun with the um, with the zany zoo animals right